Anchors up. Sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? Uh, good. We, uh, for the first time, apparently, uh, have someone doing a live transcript of the show. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> you're, you're, you're falling behind, Austin. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you, you you need to type a lot faster, buddy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> i've listened <laughs> all right let's let's jump into it because we have a lot a lot to cover here so it is our collegiate chaos episode week five and boy jared team chaos claiming souls in, in this weekend claiming yeah. souls so let's, five let's not five souls reaped this weekend by team let, chaos let's not let's not waste any more time and let's jump right in to it so we'll, we'll do the first soul here, Jared. Uh, the Huskies go down to the Bruins 40 to 32. Yeah, UCLA. This, this, was, the, this was the uh this was the uh Pac-12 after dark Friday edition. Kyle. Did did UCLA and USC like did just the whiff of Big Ten money? <laughs> turn them into Popeye. Yeah, just sort of, they're just starting to smell that Big Ten money. And all of a sudden they go Popeye when he pops the spinach in. Look at this. That's UCLA, Buckeye Zach, Buckeye, USC Buckeye Zach looking Zach good. It. Buckeye Zach said it. <laughs> mm. Performance anxiety. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, that's UCLA and USC undefeated yeah crazy so not now now they I, I don't even i didn't even look at what the uh the rankings are because they're they're dumb they're stupid they should have ucla ranked if they if they don't i do you say uh, you're pulling it up yeah i know usc is like top 10 like near fifth uh i'm pulling it up pulling it up yeah okay oh they do ucla is up to 18th now and they okay. got Kansas ranked. They got Kansas ranked as well. <laughs> right? All right. There you go. All right. Uh another another soul here that Team Chaos took uh this weekend, Jared. Not, not as big as Washington, but still he's you still got a um team who's undefeated uh in the uh the Golden Gophers going okay. down to the Boilermakers in a good old big 10 west uh type of scoring 20 to 10 20 to 10 yeah um probably should be noted that minnesota was without ibrahim in this game which yes. that's he's kind of their offense uh but yeah just never austin we are this close to adding purdue to the never playlist don't do it yet. But we're almost to the point where it's like never play Purdue. We're almost there. If you're a ranked team, just don't play Purdue. Don't do it. Never play Purdue. West Lafayette is not fun. No, they're essentially the Kansas State of the Big Ten. That's it. You know, never, never feel content. Never feel at ease when you're playing in Manhattan, Manhattan, Kansas, and we're basically going to have to ask, add West Lafayette to that list. Just, just don't, don't play. Don't go to Purdue. Don't do it. They will smack you down. All right, Kyle, who else did, uh, who else did chaos steal from this week? Uh, I got here. We're, we're going to go down to the SSA country. Purdue plays in France, kind of. Uh, you want you want a history lesson? I know you're a math teacher. Uh, we can do a history lesson real quick, kind of. We don't, we don't have time, Jared. <laughs> okay, okay. We don't have time. All right. Uh, Ole Miss uh, defeating Kentucky twenty-two to nineteen. How about that score? <laughs> 22 to 19. Hey, look at that. Um, Kyle, where's Ole Miss ranked now? They were 14th. 
Um, um, I'm sure before. they're probably top 10. I'm sure they're probably top 10 now. And honestly, <laughs> well, yep, they are. They're ninth. <laughs> honestly, that kind of makes sense. Um, you had, well, I guess, yeah, we five top, uh, excuse me. Well, five that we determined were like proper, like chaos games, but 10 Kyle, we're burying the lead here. 10 ranked teams lost this weekend. 10 that is one away from the record. Uh, from what Austin tells me anyway, I trust him. Austin tells me the record is 11 top 25 losses in a week. Jared Oops. knows things. No, I just, it was from 2016. Austin tells me, um, and the one and the away other, from the record. Yeah. And the other, the other, um, team chaos game here was, uh, was Mississippi state, uh, defeating Texas A&M 42 to 24. That is just a beat down. Yeah. That the, is a beat down. Te Texas A&M has just gone straight shitter mode at this point because even the games they've won, they've won pretty ugly. Yeah. Um, was it, was it, wasn't, um, everybody's favorite, uh, ESPN, uh, game day person had like Texas A&M going to the national championship game. Uh, I think we also had, I think we had people in our, in our chat, putting them in the national championship game too. Kyle, who, who is your four at the beginning of the year? Cause I forget. I think you at least entertained the idea of it being Texas A&M. If I remember correctly. I don't, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll all go. Right. I'll watch the episode tomorrow. I'll watch the episode tomorrow. All right. All right. Then I'm going to backtrack here. I'm going to go over some games here. Feel free to say a sentence or two or don't. Uh, BYU, a uh, little surprise. It was this close of a game. Uh, Utah State's not that great of a team, but BYU not. did pull, pull off the win here. Uh, 38 to 26. Not a, not a great showing by BYU there. Uh, same thing with, uh, well, I guess not the same thing, but now. Now, Sun Michigan. Card, you, Sun Card, buddy, you are a math teacher. I joked about you not being a math teacher or not being a history teacher before. But you said top four and then gave us five teams. All right. Michigan, Michigan uh, defeats Iowa 27 to 14. Really, it was like 20 to 14. Michigan got that late, late touchdown um, at the end of the game. But mm. yeah, we, 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 we got to really talk about Michigan here now. Like, are, are they are they actually a legit team now? They, they, they played they played a really tough defense, went on the road here and they pulled off a victory. Two thoughts. One, their offensive line's legit. Michigan has a really nice offensive line. Great offensive line, especially from a run blocking standpoint, especially from a run blocking standpoint. Excellent offensive line. I, I have no notes. Amazing offensive line. McCarthy, I think, is fine. That's but that I think that's it. I think he's fine. Um, and if the offensive line keeps blocking for him, fine is good enough to do some damage. If you have a lot of time to throw the ball, then McCarthy, if you give McCarthy a lot of time to throw the ball, he's going to make some plays because he's he's a he's a fine quarterback. He's a he's a good quarterback. Um, I think that um, I think Corum is a solid running back. I think he's a good running back. I don't think he's like a lot of people think he's special. I don't think he's special. I, I think that his offensive line makes him look special. Um but but again, like he's good enough to take advantage of that offensive line. He gets he goes to the correct hole. He falls forward. He's fast enough to get to the hole. He's very good, but he's he's not like special. He's he's uh, Ohio State's played better running backs this this year. Guys, we're going to use enough. the word we're going to use the word hole a lot when talking about football. Can we just collectively get over that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, uh, some news here about this next game here, Jared. Austin Illinois. says he isn't better than Mayan Williams, Ibrahim, or Henderson. I agree, 100%. Illinois 
not just defeating Wisconsin, but just absolutely, absolutely yeah. destroying Wisconsin, 34 to 10. And because of this, uh, Wisconsin decided to part ways with, uh, with their coach. Yeah. I, I found that a bit surprising. Um, and by the way, and I'm stealing this from, uh, from the goat himself, the Tony Gerdeman. Um, Kyle already knew what I was going to say before I was going to say it. <laughs> teams the week after playing Ohio state teams, the week after playing Ohio state are now zero and four. Ohio State isn't just beating teams. They are breaking them. They're, they're, they're crushing the spirits of their opponents. That, that is what Ohio State is doing right now. Yeah. Man, I, I can't believe I meant I did. Ohio it State beats you twice. <laughs> I can't believe I, I totally forgot to mention this as one of the, the games here that. Uh, Absolutely, Chaos Zach. To, Team Chaos took here. Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma losing to TCU by a lot. By a lot. 50, 55 to 24. 31 point victory for TCU. So let me let me put it. I have an analogy here. I have an analogy here. Y'all ever like a kid Christmas morning? You get you get like a brand new toy. And you're like, oh my God, brand new toy. I wanted this and I'm, I'm super happy to play with it. But then it required batteries and it didn't come with the batteries. Um, and, and then you didn't have any of those batteries in the house. So you just got this brand new toy for Christmas and now you can't play with it. And like none of the stores are open because it's Christmas and like you have the toy, but you, you really didn't get the full thing. Man, you got to feel like that's that's the SEC right now, right? They, they went and bought a brand new Oklahoma for their conference and Lincoln Riley didn't come with the package. <laughs> they opened the hood and be like, uh, what is this? <laughs> SEC uh, needs a Lincoln shape, a Lincoln Riley shaped battery for Oklahoma. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving on to some other games here. Uh, Alabama for- bought Oklahoma off of wish.com. Uh, Wake Forest uh, coming back with a victory over um, their loss last week at uh, beating Florida State 31 to 21. That's it. I got nothing more for it. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, these are these are run of the mill teams. They're whatever. And Kansas winning to continue staying undefeated, going five and zero. Oh. Beating Iowa State fourteen to eleven. I'm 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 impressed by this win. I think Iowa State's a very solid football team. Um, maybe start paying a bit of attention to Kansas. A bit of attention to Kansas here. Yep. Uh, Penn State uh, beating Northwestern a, a not a not good not good uh, Northwestern team. But Kansas isn't 17, getting any Big Ten money. Sun card seventeen to seven. Yeah, uh, this is not a great performance. Northwestern's bad, and like Northwestern's like bad, bad, bad like they're bad, bad. They're a very bad football team. It doesn't say a lot about Penn State to only beat them by ten points. Yep. All right, uh, Alabama. It is your coming- dream sun card for Kansas to be in the Big Ten? Not happening. Dream bigger, my man. Dream bigger. Not happening. <laughs> All right, Alabama uh, defeating Arkansas 49 to 26. And this was a much closer game, but then Alabama decided, oh, hey, hey guys, we, we should play football. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Alabama played football and, and just beat Arkansas there. Yeah, and this just like, don't let the 49 to 26 throw you off too much. This was a very competitive game for a very long time. Um, mm-hmm. So just don't don't let that throw you off too bad. Um, Bryce Young, of course, was hurt. He apparently has a, a according to uh, Saban immediately after the game said he has a, quote, sprained shoulder. It is his throwing shoulder. We'll see. Um, coaches, co- they, they, they 
just they don't reveal much in regards to injuries anymore. College football is not the NFL. They aren't required to do proper, you know, injury reports. So, but yeah, Arkansas loses. This is now Arkansas's second loss. Bye bye, Arkansas. We we were, we had some fun with you for a little bit. Bye bye. No more Arkansas. Um, yep. But yeah, this was again of of the top ten or excuse me, of the 10 top 25 losses from this week. Uh, Arkansas is one of those ones that lost, but we don't call team chaos because they lost to number two Bama. Yeah. Uh, Oklahoma State uh, beats Baylor 36 to 25. I walked Oklahoma away from State. this game feeling decent about these two teams. Like, I feel like this was a good, hard-fought, well-executed football game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really impressed with Oklahoma State here. I think they're definitely in in our grading that we'll we'll give out here uh, shortly. Uh, Oklahoma State, a, a very solid uh, B team, very solid I, B team, right? Maybe. I, I think I'm ready to move them up into A, but we'll get to that conversation later. All right, all right. Mentioned that, that game, I. Uh, LSU and Auburn. Not sure why I put this one in here, but LSU won 21. Great question. Next. All right. Uh, <laughs> Clemson. Clemson. Um, well, by the uh, way, the real quick, Baylor was another one of the top 25 teams that lost, but Oklahoma State was higher ranked. Not really a chaos moment. Yep. Well, same thing with this one here. Clemson defeats North Carolina State 30 to 20. See you, Bucknut. Man, if, man, if, if, oh, no, if, if, I can't talk. If North Carolina State, had receivers that could hold on and catch the ball. There were so many dropped balls in that game. I think this would have been a much closer game here. I really like North Carolina State's defense. I, I really do. And they really showed yeah. up in this game. They're just offense just laid an egg here. It, it, it Their offense feels strangely familiar and frustrating for some reason. <laughs> yeah it's like they're it's like their offense has a lot of decent like pretty good talent good good talent at quarterback good talent at wide receiver um a, a pretty decent offensive line but yet they can't yeah, put it all together great actually <laughs> i said pretty decent but they can't seem to put it all together kyle it's almost like it's almost like Ohio State the year after they won the national title. Kind of. For some reason. And I can't really kind put of. my my finger on it, but it feels a lot like that team. Kind of, yeah. It's it's almost like it's almost like Tim Beck. It's almost like Tim Beck. <laughs> oh God. Almost like Tim uh, Beck. Uh, all right. Next game here, Jared. Team Chaos. By the way, North Carolina this, State, also a top 10 team. And that, that's another top 10 team down. But of course, Clemson was ranked higher. Team Chaos almost having the the cherry on top here. Of it all games. Oh my God, it would have been a shiny, like <laughs> candied cherry. Uh, Missouri Georgia. had a real, real chance to win this game. A yeah. very yeah. real chance to win yeah. this football game. Georgia won 26-22 over Missouri, and it just seemed like Missouri did not know how to win a game. <laughs> they didn't want to win the game. It just seemed like at the end. <laughs> Sun Card says Tim Beck, Tim Beck is Carol Baskins, and I <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's, it made me laugh. Um, yeah, uh, I think I think Missouri fucked up in a bunch of different ways in this game that prevented them from winning. Uh, there were some fourth downs that I think if you're going to, if you're going to be Missouri, if you're going to be Missouri and beat Georgia, I think there's a couple fourth downs where they settled for a field goal, where they punted that they should have gone for it. Cause you know, who has, and like, you know, Greg Shiano, We've, you know, talked about Greg Schiano on the Monday episode. Greg Schiano knows when he is playing Ohio State. Greg Schiano knows when he is the coach of Rutgers and he's playing Ohio State because he just starts pulling shit out of the bag. Yeah, I'm going to kick an onside kick. Yeah, I'm going to run a fake. Yeah, I'm going to run this 
convoluted triple revert. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, I'll go for it on fourth down. Fuck it. Let's go. Again, he kind of has that New Jersey badass kind of thing about him. Did, did you hear Missouri what? didn't have that? And I'm not saying you need to go full Shiano about it, but there were just a couple fourth downs that it's just like, YOLO, mm-hmm. let's fucking do this. Yeah. Did you hear what Kirby Smart said at the end of the game? Uh, the I'm sure he said, the- hold on, hold on. I don't know. I don't know. Can I guess? Sure. Uh, something along the lines of yada, yada, yada. All the games in the F- in the SEC are tough because everyone in the SEC is so good. Yada, yada, yada. Pretty much. He said, he said there's nothing easy about the SEC. I mean, yet, it's but yet, but yet, last year in the in SEC, uh, last year, Georgia uh, outscored all other SEC teams two hundred thirty-one to sixty-six. Georgia's nothing, vulnerable. Nothing, nothing easy. Nothing easy about the SEC. Georgia's vulnerable. Bama is vulnerable. Um, Ohio State looks out of sorts in a couple games this year. No one is unbeatable this year. No, no one's unbeatable this year. I'll say it. Uh, Ohio State's vulnerable. Georgia's vulnerable. Bam is vulnerable. They're all vulnerable. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving on here. Nebraska getting a win here over Indiana, thirty-five to twenty-one. Is this Nebraska the turnaround wins for Nebraska? a game? But to Our be fair, game, I think. Yeah, but it, it is Indiana. Like Indiana is probably the worst team in the Big Ten this year. It's looking that way. Uh it's it's but i mean they lost to nebraska so i i kind of feel like between the two cuz i feel like it was probably like nebraska's the worst in the west and indiana's the worst in the east i feel like this was our anti super bowl this was our anti big 10 championship game and nebraska won congratulations indiana playing indiana fixes things yeah basically all right, uh, instead well, someone it's... had to lose it was someone had to win yeah it's like that episode of south park where they're trying to lose on purpose because they're tired of playing baseball a relegation yeah. game sun card in a justified world that's what this would have been All right, in a world with here. justice that's what this would have been right. georgia tech uh defeats uh 24th ranked pittsburgh 26 to 21 not really at team chaos but yeah. it is a it it's is a, a top ranked team loss. losing to an unranked. And it's a top 25 loss for sure. Yeah. Uh, USC takes care of business against Arizona State. Uh, Oregon takes care of business against Stanford. Uh, I was asleep. I didn't watch these games. I'm not going to pretend like I did. <laughs> but uh, they looked pretty uneventful looking at the stats and, and some quick highlights on the Internet. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's pull up the chart. That here, game Jerry. was three to nothing for a long time. Which one, Austin? Oh, the Georgia Tech Pittsburgh game. Yeah. Yeah. It was not only that, but I think it was like, I think it was like six to three or nine to three for a long time as well. Uh, Yeah. It was kind of a shit show. All right, Kyle, uh, you ready to get to the tier list? We are. Yes. Let's, let's, let's bring up our, our tier list. Uh, All right. So this is, this is our um, tier list from from last week here. So we had uh, Georgia, Ohio State, Alabama, and USC as our top four. And then the next four, we had uh, NC State, Clemson, Michigan, and Tennessee. So obviously, we have uh, a lot of moving parts here. So let's let's go ahead and fix this right away, Jared. Let's let's slide Georgia down to the third spot there oh uh, I have you want to i would have well, let's State. let's worry about let's worry about <laughs> like specific rankings right. later let's get the right. tiers in in, in first right. i want to so, i was going to say this clemson had an excellent game against the top 10 nc state i think it's time to yeah, get USC the f out of there. Exactly is what Austin my says. Thought. Exactly my yeah. exactly my thought. Get USC out of there. Put put Clemson there. Yep. 
hey, look at this. It's starting to look like a college football playoff. Mm. Mm. We just need mm. Oklahoma. Oh, wait. Since we're talking about Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma, we, we hardly go. knew you, you go to M tier. <laughs> they go to M tier now. All right. All right. I want, hold on. I want to take Texas A&M out of M tier just so I can put them back into M tier. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. A tier. So A tier, Michigan stays. Uh, yeah. Put NC State down to B tier. Yeah. I put them down to B tier. Yep. So Michigan, uh, we have USC, we have Tennessee. Right, let's, let's put, um, where's, uh, where's Oklahoma State? Let's move Oklahoma State up to A tier. I agree. Uh, there they are. Let's move Oklahoma State up into A tier. Mm, I, I if think Clemson if, if, is S tier, so is Michigan. I'm sorry to say it. it I'm it, sorry. What it, what top ten team did they beat? Austin. What top ten team did Michigan beat? Don't care. I do. All right. I do. You know, if if <laughs> Penn if Penn State actually had a good showing against Northwestern, I'd move Penn State to A tier as well. I, I think. To me, what? to me, Penn State, but I'd keep them at B tier if they if they had a good if, if they had oh. a good showing. I said if, I thought if, if I I heard I heard Kyle Penn State had a good showing against Northwestern, move them to A tier. That's what I heard. If. I'm just letting you know why I was so angry for a second. All right, so I would yep. Penn State stays there. Um, Who I think else had NC big stays- wins? Uh, Ole Miss, yep. Ole Miss beat Kentucky. They're now in the top ten. Is it, I I don't feel like the A tier is hyper no, exclusive not, not right yet. now. No, uh, is, your bi- me, is your is your bias talking? Mean, no, no, no. It it's not. I don't. I don't. I don't really chat. This, Ole this, Miss. This, this this is a team, Jared. Jared. This is the team that that won by one score just the previous weekend to Tulsa. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, that in the chat agrees with you. So okay. I'll, I'll take my L on that one. Um, Florida state. Um, yep. Move Florida state out. Yep. Move Florida the state. Out. Florida state uh, gets exited from B. I don't think yep, we're going to throw them in M yet. So let's just drop yep. them down into let's, C. All right. Washington gets out of B as well. Agreed. Uh, I don't think it's time to to toss Kentucky out yet. It was their first loss. It was against a pretty yeah. decent team. We'll keep them in B for now. What about, what about Baylor? I think Baylor, this is their second loss here. So I'd, I'd say move Baylor out for now. I agree. Uh, it's time, Jared. I think it is time. We put the t- I can't put... click Baylor for some stupid reason. There we go. All right, uh, Pitt, to, Pitt, Pitt also think, gets exited from B. Yep. You don't get to lose to Georgia to, Tech and stay in B. You see right there in the middle there, there's a there's a purple wildcat and a blue bird there. I think I think yeah, it's yeah. time to put those into B tier. Kansas State as well. I Kansas, so. I'm Kansas, I'm with you. I'm with you on Kansas. Kansas yeah, State Kansas is State's good. A, Kansas State is decent. I I put them like in the far back of B tier. We don't um, sort in B tier. Okay, and then our, and then <laughs> Arkansas, Arkansas. I think you can remove. That's like a third loss. I think it is second. Second. Okay, feels like their third. And Minnesota as well. You can you can move out of B tier as well. After their first loss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. They, they, I mean, what 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 good wins have they had? I mean, they've looked well, dominant in the games they've played up until this last one. They didn't have Ibrahim. Um, They aren't B tier. They can get out. Illinois. Yeah. yeah. Should we have a conversation about Illinois? Uh, if you take FSU out, you got to take Mini out. That's hey, well. Hey, Jer- 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 but that, Jer- that wasn't Jer- that Florida Jer- State's Jer- second. That was who, Florida State's second did, loss, right? Yes. Who did Illinois no? lose to first? Who did Who did Illinois lose to? Do you not know, Jared, who Illinois lost to? Uh, sorry, I was still reading the chat. Um, did FSU play in France? No, they did not. 
Who did Illinois Illinois lose to? What you said is probably the worst Big Ten team. They did lose to Indiana, didn't they? They did. Uh, You're right. You can't can't lose to Indiana and get in the B tier. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so he says Uh, FSU is 4-1. I don't know why. I was convinced that they lost a game already, but whatever. Um, So we're just going to keep Minnesota and Florida State at least off to the left here, Tad. We'll do that at least. Okay. Um, I mean, you could put Baylor kind of off to the left too. I think they're yeah, they're close fair. there. So, I, I I think this is I think this is good here. Uh, I I like. I know we had a lot in the B tier before, but I I think we're starting to really narrow down who the good teams are here. Um. Oh, let's, let's put TCU up there. Yeah, let's put TCU up in the B tier. Oh, they they had a Zach dom- they had a says dom- that they had a dominant, BYU they had a needs to go over Oklahoma and they're I don't undefeated. Think so. Sorry, I was talking to I was talking to chat. Um, TCU Kansas TCU. winner goes to A tier. I demand it. That's that's probably fair. I mean, uh, you said und- TCU. Undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TCU belongs in B tier at least. Um, I'm, I'm I'm looking at the rest of the the undefeated teams we do not have. Zach, I know that they didn't look great against Utah State, but they still won the game by like 12 points yeah. on a Thursday. The last the last undefeated team here is that is that uh orange S in the middle there. You want to put them in B tier? They're under I tell you what, you're 5 weeks into the season and you're undefeated. That that should earn you a spot in B tier. Like regardless of anything else, five weeks into the season, undefeated, you belong in B tier. I think that you know, I think that's an easy rule to make at this point. They may easily just just like that go off of go off their their next games here, uh, NC State, and then Clemson, then Notre Dame, then Pitt, and Florida State, and Wake Forest. They may lose the next five games. <laughs> you say that now. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, um, no, I like this. I, I, I think this. I think this is a, a good list here. We've got four our top four teams. Kyle, 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 teams. Kyle, Kyle. Uh, UCLA. Yes, UCLA is another undefeated team. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry, UCLA. Yep, yep. No, no. Sorry. So, so I, I, Austin again with the, with the. Uh, Layup here, not layup, alley oop here. You know, Point, he just know, put in it, all the undefeated teams. Exact, and we exact, got them exact, now. Exact. UCLA to A tier. You know, if if they win this weekend, they they play Utah. That, that'd be two. That'd be two top um, fifteen wins in a row. Yeah, they they can move up to A tier if they win this weekend. Yeah. So what we have, Utah and UCLA playing each other. Um, and then we also have TCU and Kansas playing each other, right? You know, I'm I'm going to look at that real quick. Let's let's look at um, yes. Let's look at let's look at the schedule for it this weekend. The winner Week of each six. of these, I think, the winner of each of these games. Um. Yeah, we got would yeah, go TC, into eight here. TCU and Kansas. Uh, that should be a that should be a good game. Uh, yep, Utah and UCLA we mentioned before. Um, looking to see if there's any other top matchups here. I don't see, that might be it. So Texas A&M and Alabama, but Texas A&M's not ranked. Wow, that, that's point. actually it. That's that's actually it. That's the only those are the only uh, ranked or ranked teams, and it's early on. It's early on, noon and three thirty games. There's no rank on rank. In the uh, evening games, evening sucked. I mean, aside from like Missouri making a game with Georgia's kind of saved the evening schedule this last week. So hopefully we can get something like that as well this week. Um, Clemson NC State was good. Yeah, it was fine. But no, I'm just saying like, yeah, you kind of want two games. You know what I'm saying? You kind of want at least two games. And when you went to look at the evening games last week, it was basically looking like it was only going to be Clemson and NC State. The ABC special for this weekend, Jared, is Clemson and Boston College. 
Yikes. And I'm looking, CBS has an 8 p.m. of Texas A&M in Alabama. Uh, and I think the, on, that nobody's going to see. I think Florida State and NC State could potentially be a good game, too. But other Florida, than that, yeah, there's, there's no no other games. Oh, I forgot. If if you have Peacock, Jared, you can watch BYU Notre Dame. Has Notre Dame turned turned their season around? They they get a win. They get a win here against BYU. We'll see. Is it is it confirmed that's where the Big Ten streaming games are going to go? Peacock. Is that are they the official streaming service of the Big Ten as of next year? Was or, or was that just rumor? I forget. I think that's rumored. I unless I missed it, I I didn't see it. Rumor. Zach says rumor. Uh, okay. Sunguard says yes. Peacock. Austin said he's seventy five percent sure that's the case. Uh, I think that I think that's official. I think that's official. Um, but I'm Big not sure. Ten announces media deals with NBC, Peacock. There you go. And uh, and Fox. Oh, we're here. And CBS. Uh, CBS. CBS, Fox, NBC, and um, Peacock. Which, of course, is an extension of NBC, but yeah. It is. Yep. All right. Uh, but by the way, like, it. so there you go. If you want to see that game, know that you'll need this the subscription in a year anyway. And uh, also you get all the wrestling pay-per-views. <laughs> and The Office. Because I know. Uh, and right. probably Anything Seinfeld, else? too, I would assume. Yeah. Friends? Anything else? Maybe? I don't know. No. Anything else, Jared? No. Before we, we go let's into do, the do the let's do the questions. All right. Uh, Nomad with a bunch of questions here, so we'll we'll go through these here. Uh, Northwestern is currently one in four, but is also first in the Big Ten West. Is it time to get rid of divisions? What? How is how is that They're possible? Tied for, They're tied for first here but remember, remember they, they beat they beat um they beat uh nebraska oh it's a it's a six-way tie for first so <laughs> to say to say that northwestern's first is technically, technically accurate <laughs> it is it is technically <laughs> wisconsin and last just like we thought would happen oh yeah I definitely, I definitely didn't put them in the Big Ten championship game or anything. <laughs> but yes, it is time to get rid of the divisions. Yes. Uh, all right. Nomad also asks, is UCLA for real or just first half of the season good? Um, I, so, I mean, like, we have to say that they're better, right? Like, what does, yes. what does for real mean? And they're not going to the playoffs. Okay, like let's let's, let's just get that out there. Um, could they go to the Rose Bowl? Are they better than Oregon? USC. Are they better than USC? I don't think so. But are they? We'll find out real soon if they're better than Utah. Yeah, these next two weeks here. Yeah, they play Utah then Oregon. Yeah. Do you guys like the pods idea? I prefer the protected rivalry because pod pod indicates that it's all of the four teams in the, so it's like four, four, it's like four pods of four. Um, but like then, then you'd have to have Ohio state in a pod with Michigan state because Michigan and Michigan would want to be. So I just say like do three protected rivalry games, maybe two protected rivalry games. I think in fact, uh, sun card. I like the one game protected rivalry. No, that's, that's not enough. Um, I, I, I disagree with that. Uh, by the way, I think we did an entire episode on this during the summer. Didn't we? We did. Yeah. We, yeah. So go, go check that episode out. Um, I don't remember what we called it, but it was probably something like fixing the Big Ten or rescheduling the Big Ten or something like that. I forget. Just have mm -hmm. 20 teams play nine locked a year 
and one protected rivalry. I, I, I think it has to be more than one. Nine on a rotating basis. Yeah. Um, I think it has to be more than one, personally. All right. Uh, some more questions from Nomad. Should coaches be allowed to shorten a game to 10-minute quarters if they aren't allowed to extend a game's time? Should coaches be allowed to shorten a game to 10-minute quarters if they aren't allowed to extend a game's time? Uh, I mean, there are rules. Sure. <laughs> there are rules in place to extend time. We have overtime. It's just that those rules are very specifically spelled out in the so like yes but they're they already do that that's not a that's not a novel idea um he said he's he is referencing what happened to syracuse too yeah yeah, yeah. 49 to nothing at halftime after giving up 19 total yards in the first half yeah and then they did 10 minute quarters for the third and fourth yeah like yeah both both schools agree yeah that Honestly, like if it's that bad and sure does sound like it was that bad. Don't don't risk injury. Don't. Yeah, agree. Like when a team is outmatched that bad, you are risking like injury. Um, it's yeah, just do that. Run a running clock. I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, should you ever bet the over? in an all service academy game. Yeah, I mean no. well, it's no, you never do. Yeah, no, I disagree cuz they're going to set the number low. Like it's meant to be 50-50, right? That's the idea of the over under. They're trying to split the bets 50-50. I would like to see in academy versus academy games and no, no, Kyle, don't try and look this up. No one's going to have this. Um, I, it's, I, I, I'm sure the number is set very low. It's a meant to be achievable. That's the idea. Austin, I will finish the thought when I am goddamn good and ready. Tell me to finish the thought. <laughs> Uh, is football on TV, is football on TV 10 a.m. a good thing? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hold on, Kyle. Can you can you ask that question again, but slower? Is football. Yes. On TV. Yes. At 10 a.m. Yes. A good thing. Yes. Yes. It's football on TV. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Not if you forget to set your lineup beforehand. I haven't done fantasy in like, I don't know, five or six years. And I tell you what, I am so much happier as a football fan. Fantasy was ruining my ability to just watch football like a normal human being. I, I stopped doing it and I am so much happier to have stopped doing it. I'll never go back. Jared, there have been 44. <laughs> God damn it. How, uh, he went and found the numbers. There have right, been 44 right. well, well, service Academy that? games since 2015. How many of those games hit the under? 22. 30 fucking four. Ah, but notice how it wasn't 40 fucking four. <laughs> That's that's a that's a long way away from never. That's a long way away from never. 75% hit rate, that's a lot of money. Yep. But notice how you said never when you should have said 75% of the time. You said zero when you should have said 25. All right, I'm moving on here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Austin asks a question here. Do never. It? Never. It it's right It's right here in the chat, Austin. What, never. What will Kansas's final record at the end of the season of the regular season? Do they make a New Year's, New Year's Six Bowl game? 
Uh, no, they will not make a, a New Year's Six game. New Year's Six bowl game. Uh, uh no. Uh, they're 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 gonna they're gonna screw up some. They're gonna screw up somewhere. I mean they. I mean, they, well, they may I, hear Kyle. Hold on. I, I mean, can I, can I, mean, I devil? The, can I devil? Their second this? half. Their second half of the year is so much tougher than them playing Tennessee Tech or Duke. They, they're playing TCU, Oklahoma State, Kansas State. I mean, they they do still play Oklahoma and Texas still, and Baylor. And they, they, they still got a lot of games here that sure. they, they could easily lose to. Very easily. But what we actually have to ask is who wins the Big 12? That's the actual question here, right? And it's not Oklahoma. I, 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 think, I think the best team to win it right now, it's, it's the Cowboys. Potentially. I'm not going to I, I, I'm not going to say that's wrong. I'm not going to say that's All wrong. Right. I think it's very possibly true. All I mean, right. they uh, are the only the... Big 12 team that we have in A tier or better. What's their final final record? So they're five and zero right now, and they have how many games did I say? Three, six, seven. Ga- they have seven games left. I'm going to say they go seven and five. I think they'll go seven and five. That feels harsh, but I. And that that's definitely look at the games. New, I know New Year Six bowl game. You see, and then Austin says nine and three. You said seven and five. I I was honestly thinking eight and four, like just right in between you guys. Okay. All right. And uh, he asked, which team currently ranked in the top six will lose a game first? Now, that's a good question. So, so the top six, so Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, Clemson, into USC. Clemson. Uh, let me look here. Let's see. That's in two weeks. Yeah, I mean, actually pull up their. It's in let me, two let's weeks. actually pull up their schedules. Um, two weeks. Clemson football. Uh, um, I'm. I'm going. Clemson to say... plays Boston College next week. They should win that pretty easily. But then they play Florida State, who is good enough to beat them, and they play Syracuse, who is good enough to beat them. Then they play Notre Dame and. I don't. I don't know what the fuck Notre Dame's doing right now. Uh, I, th- I think the two. I think the two teams you're going to look for here. It's. Uh, it's going to be Michigan and USC. I think are going to be the two teams to watch out for. USC in two weeks plays Utah, and Michigan in two weeks plays Penn State. Hold on. Is that two weeks? Hold on. Hold on. Because right, there's there's always those bye weeks and all that. Yeah, it is in two weeks. Yep. And in and in two weeks, Florida State and Clemson play. That's a that's a potentially chaos rich oh, environment hold right on, there. Hold on, hold on. Well, and I I I still don't think they're all that great of a team, but in two weeks Alabama does head on over to Tennessee as well. Well, the, Austin points out that they're also playing Texas A and M this week. Maybe, maybe without without Bryce Young. So we'll see, yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, Texas A&M does not install a lot of, a lot of confidence at the moment though. Um, it's the SEC. All the games are hard. Yeah. Okay. Kirby. Uh, oh, Bryce is playing. Maybe he isn't. He didn't come back in the game. It's his throwing shoulder. It's his throwing shoulder. And I know Suncart, I know that you are a, uh, Miami Dolphins fan. Sometimes you don't play an injured quarterback. I know that that's a foreign concept for you. All right. That, that is, that's all the questions we have here, Jared. Uh, I think we're good. I think, I think we got our rankings here. We answered some questions, went through the games here. Uh, I think next week's not going to be as great of a games overall as what we had this last weekend, but man, that October 15th weekend is looking really, really nice for team chaos. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually like a really great week overall. Um, and it's a good week for Ohio State to be out, too. Like if that's going. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be 10 losses. Um, the, the, the We had 10 top 25 losses this week. That bears repeating. There, there's the over under. Let's let's set the over under at eight and a half. I think yeah, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Fine, just 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 agree with Austin and not me, Jared. Jeez. Listen, Austin said it first. <laughs> I make numbers for a living, Kyle. No, you don't. This is not your job. <laughs> Says you. I know what you do for a living. I know this, Austin. All right, Jared. All right. Go, 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 head, head us out here. All right. Uh, you know what I've told you. You know, Austin, fair. That's fair enough. Uh, tonight's ending music. Uh, no, not there. We're not there yet. Uh, visit our uh, sloopcast.com page. It'll give you links to all the other things uh, like our TikTok, where we post highlights, like our Instagram, where we post highlights, like our YouTube shorts page, where we post highlights. Uh, like our YouTube page, where we post full episodes, our full episodes on YouTube, in case you only ever listen to this uh, through through audio, you can actually watch us. We're on we're on YouTube, and if you uh, normally watch us on YouTube and you think to yourself, "Oh, I'm really busy this time of year and I can't sit down and watch an hour long," da 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 da, you can take us anywhere you, you want to go through. Just just through your podcast audio too. It's a little bit more mobile that way. It's a little bit easier, especially if you're going to be in the car or something. You know, you know what? Subscribe to both, guys. The, the real play here, the real play here is to subscribe to the podcast on your podcast app of choice, and then also go over to YouTube and uh, search Sleepcast, or you can just go to uh, youtube.thesleepcast.com and uh, find us there, and you can subscribe there as well. You can even hit that bell. If you hit that bell, it actually notifies you when we've posted a new episode. But hey, um, spoiler alert, it's Monday Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 8 a.m. We like consistency here. It's part of a, a shared mental illness of Kyle and I and, 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 and the community and, and, where and we're real big on consistency. 8 a.m., Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And of course, uh, there's the super secret Wednesday show for the yeah, Patreon backers. If you're, if, you, if, you, if you're part of the, if you're um, part of the, uh, the sleep cats down here, yeah, you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday episodes. You get five day. You get every day of the week there. Yeah, and uh, this last episode I made Kyle do by himself. Yeah, Man, even I, though even though Jared still joined, still. Yeah, because I had to make fun of everyone. I got I got to be the people in the chat making fun of us, except I was one of them for an episode, and it was it was kind of fun for me. Yes, consistency is good. Heal Jared is a troll. Yeah, um, Jared is uh, Jared. The the character of Jared. I'm not talking about myself in the third person. The character of Jared on the Sloopcast is definitely doing a very slow heel turn, for sure. All right, um, slow turn. <laughs> you haven't seen shit yet. You haven't seen shit yet, Austin. You haven't seen shit yet all right uh kyle do you have anything in kyle's corner uh the crew trying to make a run toward the to the end to the uh to make the playoffs here uh, i i think they have two games left they are i think they're two points out or they're two points ahead Right now, they're they're currently in that last spot in the eighth, um, two points up on Charlotte. But they do play Charlotte next, and I think Orlando. So yeah, I, th I think if they they win at least if they win one of those games, they're they'll be in it. But 
when both and you're surely in it. When both of them, they may move up to like maybe as best case scenario, fourth place here. Austin's fact checking you. Oh, is it seven? I thought it was eight. Kyle's going to fact check the fact checker. While he's doing that, I'm going to tell you. Uh... You are right. You are right. <laughs> you are right. So they are tied. They are tied right now. They are tied um, with 45 points with Orlando and Miami. But um, Orlando and Miami have the tiebreaker here. So uh, I will note real out. quick that our, our, our crew email, we have a crew emote in our Discord server. That you see Buckeye Zach using right there. Uh, and yeah. we never updated it and we ain't gonna. Uh, Suck it, new script. logo. New logo can suck it. All right. Uh, tonight's ending music is The National. They are based out of Cincinnati. Um, you can check them out on YouTube or wherever else you can find music. They're an excellent, pretty popular band. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is The National. <laughs>